Hi everyone, my name is Caleb from calebtemperman.com. We've got Alfredo Ticolo here. We're doing an interview. You guys have actually saw Alfredo in many editions of the Caleb Show over the past few months. We're going to ask him questions regarding his personal background, what he currently does, and what he aspires to do. So first of all, how did you get started with social media? I got started in social media back in 2011. Started a uh, Twitter account first and kind of learned from there. Yeah, so you started with Twitter. And how did that go from starting with Twitter? Did you move on to YouTube? How did that go from starting from Twitter? I think from Twitter, I don't remember if when Facebook was around, mm -hmm. uh, I got into Facebook and then started to explore YouTube. I do recall remember exploring Twitch in 2016. Right, and Twitch. So in a nutshell, you're exploring with many different kinds of platforms sort of trying to pick which ones, right? Yeah, uh, it's exploration. It, mm. it, it's also when you explore uh, other platforms, it teaches you how to find, you know, different ways to interact with people mm, other 100%. than- One thing a lot of people want to know, how, do you, how, how did we meet? How did you meet me? I think we met in a Facebook group called StreamYard uh, Community. Correct. And, and from there, I just been following your channel ever since. It's crazy because there'd be many times that I've been looking through this StreamYard group and I see Alfredo Tigolo does with his comments. I'm thinking in my mind, yeah, this guy's all right, guy. This guy, this guy's pretty chill. So if we all want to know, how did you actually start your YouTube channel? Let us know. Um, I've started to explore YouTube. There's an option to help my local church um, live stream some of their content. Mm. But in, in the beginning, uh, I actually was learning how to use Google Hangouts. Right. And I think that was back in 2011. They, they were the OG um, days of Google Hangouts. Right. Oh, yeah. And and Google Hangouts had an option called Hangouts on Air mm -hmm. that streamed to YouTube, which is now called YouTube Live. That got, that's what got me started That uh, when I created a YouTube channel. You mentioned about your church as well, Alfredo. What's, what, what got you started to share your talents with the church? Uh, the church, uh, what really encouraged me to share my talents was uh, mm -hmm. through the uh, youth pastor because he's also been exploring social media to kind of help promote mm. the content of the church. Right. I just explored the Hangouts and other forms of social media to the you know, to share what we do inside the uh, church community. Right. So you, from what I'm aware, you assist the church with like the technical, like the IT side of live streaming and things. Uh, yes. Uh, the, there weren't that many um, volunteers that knew the special skills of live streaming. Yeah. Now, I was kind of a rare breed in, in, the, in the church uh, congregation and, right. and helping them stream their church service about past four years. So yes, that's good to know. And, and obviously you were obviously a part of this church prior to all of this. Up next, what do you currently do? So at the moment, what is your full-time career? Uh, I'm currently working inside an Amazon fulfillment center. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in 2011 was when I get got my bachelor's degree in computer science. Right. So before 2011, I actually worked at a bank. Uh, as in, uh, really? Process, yeah, I was wow. processing checks inside of of a bank. Wow! And and then once I got my degree in computer science, I transitioned into the automotive industry for about five years. Wow! Well, one thing I'll put, I, I would really love to see that resume of yours. There'll be a lot on there. Yeah, that's only the past ten years. There's still stuff that I did in 1998. So. <laughs> Well, look, and, and you know, even with that, going from working at a bank to automotive to working at Amazon, and obviously that Amazon job, you've been doing that for four or five years, right? Uh, no, it's Amazon job has only been a, a year. A year? Uh, right here. Yes, okay. it's only been a year. Um, uh, the cool thing about this job at Amazon, it's the, the workplace is literally 10 minutes away from my house. Okay, so, uh, so, so. that, so the proximity of the location as well is a good factor with why you're actually working there. You mentioned about you've been working at Amazon, you've been doing all that. You've also been doing some software development. Uh, let us know, like, what kinds of software do you develop? The last piece of software I developed was back in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, in the company that I used to work for in the automotive industry that would literally help generate reports for, for customers. Right. Um, your inventory reports or sales reports. 
So those that's back in 2018. Okay, so you've done that for the automotive company, and then obviously you haven't really been doing much in the software development since then. Uh, other than just learning about live streaming technologies mm -hmm. and, and also helping the church, I uh, haven't gotten into any newer technologies right. since since the automotive. Industry. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, so. 2018 was the last year that I developed software. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still curious in the technology. So the what the what my background is mostly it's been banking, automotive, and operations. Right. Yeah. And so you've yeah. So you've done a lot of banking. You've done a lot of that. As in for the software development, is there much background? Like, what is your background within the software development perspective? Right. Uh, a lot of times, um, let's let's take the automotive industry. Yep, it's a cross between customer service and operations, where I literally listen to the customer. What do they want outputted in terms of their reports? Yeah, with regards to that, you've had a lot of experience from banks to automotive to Amazon to software development, trim with your church. You've obviously made some mistakes in the past. Let us know what are some mistakes that you've made in the past, and what can you take away from that? Uh, one of the mistakes I, I've, I've been uh, I've made, which I should have done, was I should have documented what I've learned up to now. Mm -hmm. so, so when I started actually going to college, a four-year school in 2002, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get the degree until 2011 because I had to support a family. Right. Um, but what I should have done was literally write in journals what I've been learning up to this point right yeah. so documenting that to then reflect on that in the future right because the the, the technology will change how you're learning and, and what things you want to learn it, that's always going to be the same you've made those mistakes you've accepted those mistakes what are your plans moving forward from this point uh, my plans right now is um, try to get back into software development career yep uh, um, for right now, I'm just supporting my family with distant learning. Absolutely. And also supporting what my wife's doing. Uh, and then when I can, just, just get back into coding again. Yeah. So, Alfredo, it's been a really, really good interview. Before we go, where can we find you? I know you're on a lot of places. Uh, on Twitter, my hat handle is actually Alfredo underscore Tigolo. That's on Twitter. Yeah. So that's where I... It's all different. I, it's all different. Yeah, all different that's where i started mm -hmm. there's twitch of course um it's just literally alfredo Tigolo. and then and then yeah. with youtube uh I, I i got lucky and got the uh you know unique url you do youtube.com slash alfredo Tigolo. pretty much in a nutshell any platform you search alfredo Tigolo, you'll be able to find them if you guys want to be interviewed like alfredo was send me an email comment down below i'll get in touch guys thank you for watching if you're new don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications for more go to calebtempleman.com for more information thanks to alfredo for coming on and we'll see you all next time bye for now yeah. Dash away.